My name is Martinez Larson, and this is a video of an initial consultation and health screening completed on the 17th of the 1st, 2022. Talia Bailey right here is going to be playing for part one of this video, the dad, uh, Mark Markham, who is going to be giving uh, consent for his son, Michael, to initiate in uh, an exercise program. Alrighty. Hi Mark, how you doing mate? Good thanks, how are you? Good thanks. Alrighty, so I hear your son Michael wants to start getting involved in some strength and conditioning programs. Yeah, that's right. Alrighty, well, before we do any of that, what I have to go through legally is the exercise readiness questionnaire for children and adolescents. Yeah. So I'll just go over the uh, the clauses real with you very quickly and we can get into the nitty gritty of it all. Yeah. So, just uh, important information for yourself to take on board is the purpose of this form is to ensure we provide every child and adolescent with the highest level of care. In most cases, physical activity offers an opportunity for children and adolescents to have fun and promotes the basis for good health and an enhanced quality of life for the future. However, there are a small number of children and adolescents who may be at risk when participating in any exercise programs. We ask therefore, that you read and complete this questionnaire, which I'll go through with you today, and carefully return it to myself, the trainer. The information contained in this form as well is confidential and is subject to the laws and regulations contained in the privacy laws enacted in December 2001. All right, shall we commence? Yep. Yep, all righty. So I'll just write it down as we go to help make the process a lot easier for you. So. Uh, your child's name, first name is Michael. Michael, yep. Michael. And last name, Markham. Yep. Yep. Alrighty, sweet. Uh, his age as of the 1st of January this year? Uh, 10. 10. Alrighty, 10 years old. And uh, his date of birth? Uh, the 1st of the 8th, 2011. Alrighty. Yep. And he's obviously male. Yep. Yep. Um, alrighty, I'm just going to get your name, full name please. Uh, Mark, Mark Markham. Mark Markham, yep. Yeah. Uh, your address? Uh, 54 Sums Road. Yep. 54 Sums Road. Uh, postcode? 4736. Yep. Uh, mobile number? Uh, 0487 Yep. Uh, home phone? Uh, 4748 7216. Alrighty, and work phone? Uh, no, don't have one. Okay, yep, no worries, I'll just put NA there. Um, has a GP or an allied health professional referred your child? No. No? Alrighty. Sweet, so for the if yes area, I'll just put NA, NA. Um, if there is an emergency, uh, can you specify the person who should be contacted and their emergency contact details? Uh, myself and the same number. Okay, yep, so just your name and then the same numbers. Yeah, yeah. All right. Now, I'm just going to go through a series of uh, medical related questions. All you have to do is answer yes or no if uh, it's in relation to Michael. So, um, does your child have any of the following? So, uh, a heart condition? No. No. Uh, type 1 diabetes? No. No. Uh, epilepsy? No. Yep. Uh, breathing problems? No. Uh, cystic fibrosis? No. No. Type 2 diabetes? No. No. Seizure or convulsions? No. No. Uh, asthma? No. No. Uh, high blood pressure? No. No. High cholesterol? No. No. Eating disorders? No. No. And unexplained coughing after exercise? No. No. Alrighty. Uh, is your child currently taking any medications? Does Michael take them? No. Uh, Um, in the last six months, has Michael had any joint or bone pain, injured or broken bones, or muscular pain while exercising? Um, yeah, Michael has dealt with um, Osgood Schlater disease at the base of his knee, um, but he's now fully recovered. Ah, okay, cool. I'll put a tick there, and as for the other two circumstances, yes, no. no? Alrighty. Um, 
I'll check in with this physio, I'll send a referral letter and just get the ins and outs of that circumstance and just to have a all ticks cleared uh, for clearance so that he can do commence these sorts of workouts yeah. and if the physio has any recommendations then they'll send that to me as well. Okay. Um, beautiful. I'll get on to the second part of the form now. Uh, does Michael have any chronic disability or illnesses? No. None? Alrighty. Uh, does Michael have difficulty with any of the uh, following problems? Uh, difficulty with any of these issues. So, uh, vision, hearing, speech, motor skills, balance, or sleep? No. No, all right, too easy. Um, I won't take any of those. Uh, does Michael, is he allergic to any food, medications, pollens, or allergens? No. None, awesome. Does Michael follow a special diet? No. No. And has Michael had surgery within the last 12 months? No. No. All right, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Is there any other reason? Yep. So is there any other reason why your child should not participate in exercise? Uh, no. No? Awesome. Ah, uh, that's good. And just so I can get a, a brief overview of Michael himself, uh, what's his favorite hobbies and activities that he does? Um, AFL, he trains three times per week and then he plays on the weekends. Oh, sweet. Ah, yeah. oh, awesome. All right then, that's good. I'll just jot that down. Cool. We are at the end of the questionnaire now. Um, I'm just going to go through the uh, informed consent part of it all. So it's just stating, I hereby acknowledge uh, the information provided, this is for yourself, yeah. above regarding my child's health is to the best of my knowledge, correct and correct. I will inform you immediately if there are any changes to the information provided above. I give permission for my child to commence your exercise program. Do you give consent? Yeah. Yeah, so we'll tick that, I do. Um, today's date, 17th of the 1st. And I'll just get your name and your signature right there, please. Awesome. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, that is all done now, Mark. As for, um, as for Michael's performance measures, uh, I'll be taking him through aerobic testing, muscular endurance testing, and flexibility testing. No worries. Just so that we can like ensure that he's able to do the programs well and whatnot. So, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Martinez Larson, and this is a video of initial consultation and health screening completed on the 17th of the 1st, 2022. This is part two of the Finch Challenge. Talia Ann Bailey at the back here is going to be uh, playing the part of Michael, the child that is going through the performance measures. So, awesome. Enjoy. Hi Michael, how are you doing? Good thanks, how are you? Good, my name's Mars. I'm going to be your uh, instructor, PT today. Yeah. Uh, and today's day, 17th of the 1st, alrighty. What we're going to be doing initially, we're going to be going through all your body composition measuring. So we're going to be doing your height, we're going to be doing your weight, calculating your BMI, so your body mass index, and then giving, uh, seeing what rating category you fall into. Then from there, we're going to be doing an aerobic test, so uh, a, a, te a step test, mm -hmm. and that's going to calculate uh, your VO2 max, just seeing how your cardiovascular system is going. Um, then after that, muscular endurance test, we're going to be doing a push-up test, and then uh, finishing off, we'll be doing a flexibility test, a uh, sit and reach test. Mm -hmm. So you don't have any new injuries? No. No? no. no. Awesome. Alrighty. Well. First on the agenda, Michael. Uh, so uh, I also did get your referral from your physio. Yep. He said it's all good. So we'll go through this, see what uh, standard you're at at the moment, and then from there we'll start making the programs. Okay, perfect. Awesome. So first up, we're going to measure your height. So on the wall there, if you can just put your heels up against the wall near the measuring tape, and I'll just put my hand there. You can step forward. Awesome. That is 145 centimetres. Still a bit of ground to do, eh? Yeah. yeah. Alrighty. 145 centimetres. Next on the agenda, we're going to check your weight. So on the scales, just on the side there. Alrighty. So just staying still. 
and 30, 34 kilos. Awesome. So if my calculations are correct, that brings your BMI to a 16.04 BMI rating. That falls into the healthy weight category. So that's good. Yep. All right. So we're off to a good start. Uh, waist girth is the measure. Is the measure more than the child's height? No, it's not. So that's a good thing. We're already cool. First up. So I hear you love doing your AFL. Yeah. Awesome. So I think you should be all over this, uh, being fitness wise and whatnot. So. Uh, we're just going to do the step test. Yep. And what we're going to do, I'm just going to grab my mobile and chuck on the, uh, it's called a monitor, sorry, uh, a metronome beat. It always gets my, my words mixed up. But what's going to happen is you're going to be going at the, bait, the rhythm of the beat continuously up and down for a duration of three minutes. After that, we're going to assess your heart rate and see what, uh, how your cardio system, cardiovascular system is going. So I'll just explain it, I'll just example it first. So we're going at the this particular beat. Yeah. Here we go. Boom. Okay. Awesome. Whenever you're ready, I will get it into it. So three, two, one. continuously okay so the way you can do it you can do it one of two ways we'll be facing this way you can do it with your legs out and you're simply bringing your chest a little bit above the ground and up now if you have to go on your knees hold your legs up crossed and doing the same depth of push-up as such Alrighty. we just can see what your strength capabilities endurance is Alrighty, three, two, one, two, good. Just a bit lower. Good, 17. 17, that's yeah. good, beautiful. That's good. Do you need a drink or anything? No. You good? Yeah. Awesome. All right, the last one we're going to do is a sit and reach test. So, we're gonna have our legs, we're gonna be sitting on our bum, legs completely straight. This is stage one. Stage two, we'll be at the knees. So just reaching a bit forward past the knees. And stage three is at your toes. And if you can go stage four, a bit past your toes, and so be it. Okay. We'll just see what you're flexible capabilities are. Yep. Alrighty. So just sitting with your legs out. 
Awesome. Does it feel tight within your hamstrings at all? No. No? Awesome. Not feeling tight anywhere at all? No. Awesome. All right, to the next stage. Stage two. All righty, now go on as far as we can. All righty, we're nearly at stage three. So that's good. That's good flexibility. We can work on that. Awesome, mate. Well, we have gone through everything that we need to for today, all the performance measures. So I'm going to start making some strength and conditioning uh, programs for yourself, and I'll go off these records, and we'll go from there. No worries. Thank you. All right.